We have learned that a Scranton man died in a wrong way crash in Lackawanna County overnight. 56 year old Philip Jones was pronounced dead at the scene, and tonight we're learning more about a second crash at the same scene, this one involving an alleged drunk driver who is a sworn law enforcement officer. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live right along Casey Highway tonight to try to make sense of a wild scene today. Cody? Nick and Candace, good evening. Both crashes happening here near exit 5 heading east. Now the crashes are separate incidences. Just before midnight Wednesday, a wrong way driver was reported on Route 6. Moments later, a caller reported a crash. Unfortunately, ended up hitting a utility truck in the other lane, causing a fatality. The wrong way driver, 56 year old Philip Jones of Scranton, was pronounced dead at the scene. The other driver was transported to Geisinger CMC for injuries. When there's a fatality involved, there'll be toxicology results that will ultimately tell us, you know, whether the driver was suspected of DUI. PennDOT now handling its own investigation. Once the state police determines where the wrong way driver entered the highway, our crews will go out to the scene and make sure that all of our signage is in place and also evaluate if it needs additional signage. As PennDOT was working to reopen the Casey Highway, a suspected drunk driver crashed through the closure into a PennDOT truck. We were picking the cones up. I turned around and looked. There was a car coming at us very high rate of speed. I grabbed the other guy, pulled him out of the way, and she hit the back of my crew cab. The driver, 41-year-old Susan Laguzzi, was taken into custody and booked. Eyewitness News has confirmed Laguzzi is an officer at Penn State Scranton. Before state police arrived on scene, Eyewitness News captured a man removing cans of Miller Lite from the driver's side and placing them in the trunk of Laguzzi's car. Troopers there on scene did an investigation and um, she was taken into custody for uh, suspicion of driving under DUI. Now, no charges have been filed in that suspected DUI crash pending a toxicology report. I have reached out to Penn State Scranton for comment, but have not heard back. For now, we're live in Mayfield. Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News. Guys?